Right, hello there. Um, welcome back to Broken Oars Indoors on YouTube. And this is kind of, this is a follow up to the reviews I did last year of various different online rowing resources. So a lot of stuff on YouTube, a lot of stuff on um, just on the internet training programs and like influencers that you can follow and gain something from. And it was all about the free resources that were out there. And ever since then, I've been wanting to do something that was about a similar sort of review of resources you could pay for. Um, and partly life has got in the way and I apologize for that because I know that people actually found those uh, videos that I did last year quite useful. <coughs> but one thing I am going to say is um, I've also really struggled because there are a lot of people offering online coaching. And you're kind of looking at the screen right now as I'm recording this. This is the ErgZone website. Now, if you don't know, ErgZone is a, uh, it's a little app that you can have on your phone that tracks all your rowing and stores all your workouts. But the clever little adaptation behind it is that it lets other people sell training programs that then automatically turn up on your phone and say, you have to do this today. And as soon as you turn on ErgZone, it pops up the correct workout for you to do. And it says how fast you've done it and how fast you should be doing it, etc. And so that means that there are lots and lots of different people selling indoor rowing and, as you can see, skiing training programs on the internet. And so there's altogether like vastly too many to actually review. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you what I think is a guide to the way you should go about trying to assess whether paid for online coaching is right for you. Before you pay money for a for online coaching, what should you have done first? The reasons behind, you know, there are good reasons, there are mediocre reasons, and there are bad reasons for paying for online coaching. And you should go through those fairly systematically. Um, I'd like to go through like the types of training. So there's like very simple training plans like these. And then it kind of goes into more and more involved training programs with more and more personalization and more and more involvement of the people who've actually written it. Then how much you can expect to pay. And in some cases, this is a bizarrely huge amount of money. Um, and in some cases, it's like, yeah, it's, it's not that much. Finally, um, I kind of want to give a little bit of advice on when you have an initial contact with any form of coach, be it online, um, whether it's an on the water coach, whether it's um, a physical trainer or a personal trainer for the rowing machine, what you should look out for in that, in like kind of almost the initial 15 minutes that you're having that conversation the steps that I think they should go th through that should remind you that, okay, this guy or this girl even is kind of on the level. So the first thing I think we should do is um, we should look at what you should do before you even consider online coaching for or paid for coaching for rowing or indoor rowing. The first thing is look out there before you put your hand in your pocket, before you take your hard earned money in these sort of like straightened times, you should actually look up what the free um, plans are. So here's, here's an example. I've got what I call Dr. Evil's rowing library in, um, in our Google drive for the Broken Laws podcast. And uh, I don't know if we can count it. 
easily. But I think there's at least 20 different training programs that I've just downloaded off the internet, completely free. They, they're just kicking around and they're putting indoor rowing training plan, Concept 2 ergo training plan. Um, Concept 2 is doing workout of the day. The things I'd obviously recommend are the PK 5K training, the PK 2K training. Um, there's the, hang on, let's find him. Here we go. The beginner training. So if you're right at the start, really important. Peak plan, it's the simple, it's the basic. Go in there, do the sessions that you've been given as hard as you can, more or less. There are gaps. There are things, there are ways that it can be improved, but it is what it is. It's, it's simple. It's to the point. It's really easy to understand. It's day by day, five, six sessions a week for 12 weeks and repeat. Um, obviously in here, we have got the C2 training version two PDF, the enormous, uh, document the um, I went through last year and I'm, I'm, I'm doing the interactive uh, training program from it. It's great, but all these things are free. You have got on YouTube, the row along training pack channel. No, they, 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 he's got whole training plans. He's got like a whole 2K training plan as a series of videos that you can do. Um, really, really useful thing. Um, we can go on, there's the Ascenso YouTube channel, which isn't quite as organized, but you get Eric Murray, you know, knowledge bombs about your training. And finally, we've also got the British rowing indoor rowing training plan. Now, this is the advanced training plan, which is three sessions a week. If you're a rower, that's like, you kind of look at that and go three sessions a week. That's not an advanced training pro program. If you're a beginner and you just want to get fit, and you don't quite know what to do, you could do a lot worse than this. You know, session one, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, session two, one minute row, one minute rest. And then it's going to build all the way up to like a lot more. And it's like session three each week, cross train on any other piece. And that's like, there you go. There's your, there's your seven week training program to 2000 meter row for, you know, it's absolute beginner stuff. And so I don't know why they've called it the advanced training plan, but here is a PDF that's completely free written by British rowing for how to do three sessions a week for eight weeks. You know, if you're starting out, this is where you need to be, or you don't need to pay for anything. Just yeah, download this, print it out, stick it up in your wall. Um, I would also say the other thing you do is join something like, uh, when I say my, this is the one I belong to. I don't own it or run it or anything. Um, but sub seven indoor rowing club on Facebook, there are literally dozens of indoor rowing groups based around loads and loads of rowers, files, and we've got a load of training plans right here. So if you want some advice and you want to get an idea of what's out there, get on Facebook, join an indoor rowing club. Just put Facebook indoor rowing. Ooh. And look, you got all these things. Um, and any one of these will give you advice on pacing, on types of training plan, loads and loads of different ideas that you can try before you actually have to pay for anyone. Now, on top of this, you should have some goals. There should be something, before you're putting your hand in your pocket, there should be a reason that you're actually putting your hand in po pocket. You should have a motivation. So you should have a goal that you're not meeting, or you should have a lack of knowledge. You should be trying to do something that you can't reach by yourself or with free resources. And so I kind of like had some ideas. You should be just trying to lose weight. Weight loss can be your goal. If that's not working out, that's fine. Training uh, for just to increase your fitness, just so you can spend more time playing with your kids. You don't get out of breath when you're chasing them around in the back garden or in the park or 
or whatever it is, just really simple goals and you're finding that what you're currently doing isn't working for you. You've got to have one of those goals that you can't meet. It might be you want to PB on your 2K or your 5K or one hour piece, or whatever it is. Um, it might be that you want to improve your fitness for another sport. So if you want to train to be better at rugby or better at sailing, or there are specific guides out there, and it could really help to have a coach or a physiologist tell you how intensely you should train when you're following those programs. It might be that you want to get out there and you want to make the national team. You might want to um, rehab an injury. Something like this isn't working. You might want to break a world record. So to give you an idea, there we go, these guys. Um, you've got John Davis and Simon Jones. Uh, that's Simon, that's John. Um, Simon is a mountain of a man who I find particularly irritating because basically throughout, we've kind of been in this sport of indoor rowing for roughly the same time, and he's consistent with the possible exception of about two years, maybe. He's been able to do everything I can do on the indoor rowing machine, but he, he can do it like a split and a half faster than I can. Now, these guys, they did the 100,000 meter tandem men's 40 to 49. I think they've done it again in the 50 to 59 quite recently. Um, Genuine, honest to God, world record, listed on the Concept2 website. If you wanted to do something like this, John Davis is actually a coach. You're going to want to get his advice, and you're going to have to probably pay for his advice, because not many people have done this. And he will probably have a fairly good idea of the best way of going about it. Um, so you can like save yourself a lot of time and a lot of grief by calling him and asking um so breaking a world record you're gonna need coaching for this so keep going now for you again by coaching online ask yourself a question can i get the support and coaching i need at a rowing club and this is like this is really really like a positive move for most people you join a rowing club which has there we go let's bring that up it's got Loads of people in them that will probably be able to answer all your questions, give you all the guidance you need, give you a training program, modify that training program, do some kind of fitness tests for you to establish your baselines, to establish your peak speed and your different training bands really quite easily. And then you've got the opportunity of being in a community, possibly being in a club where you've got loads and loads of support, of equipment. Lots of rowing clubs have their own rowing machines. Lots of rowing clubs have their own weight gyms. You know, really, really kind of useful stuff. And let's, let's have a look here. Rowing in Kent, in my bit of the world. So let's just shut that one down. And you've got, look, you've got a rowing club there. There's one. Okay, this is, Kent's a pretty, pretty big county. Um, but you go Deal, Coastal, Herne Bay, Coastal, there's Folkestone Coastal, there's one down in Dover as well, which is a bit bizarre that they don't have that one there. You've got Medway Towns Rowing Club, Mason and Victor, where I used to row um, when I was a little bit more serious about trying to win races, and now I'm rowing at Spitfire Boat Club. Any one of these places, unless you are looking for the most specialist advice, could probably turn around and say, yeah, this is how you go faster. This is how you get fitter. When I was losing weight on a rowing machine or when I lost weight on a rowing machine, this is what I ate. This is what worked for me. So do those things before, and, I, and you know, rowing clubs cost money, but you gain a lot more than just coaching. You gain community, you gain equipment you gain the possibility of gaining a new skill you gain friends and support and guidance and a training plan it's brilliant all for like 20 quid a month maybe 25 if they're really pushing it so do those things look up the free plans online join an indoor rowing club on facebook be sure that you've got a reason that you're actually going to need to do this and then if you can join a rowing club 
So do all that before you even consider paying for online coaching. Right, let's go through some of the reasons. So the good reasons, the mediocre reasons, and the bad reasons. Good reasons. Why are you going to pay for an online indoor rowing or even water rowing coach? You live miles from the nearest rowing club. You can't access that font of information. You're either a beginner and you don't quite know how to advance with your training. Let's say you've done a bit of training and you'd like to do more, but you don't, you don't understand, you know, you've looked at Dr. Evil's rowing training library and you've got, do I use the concept to sailing guide? I've done a bit of sailing. What about the FISA club training program? That's great, but it recommends gymnastics. I can't do gymnastics. Um, the Masters 50 rowing training plan. Well, that suits me because I'm almost 50 and I want to get better at rowing, but this seems like one of the hardest plans in the entire place. And they're talking about training to failure every single set. And that doesn't really seem like fun. Um, so if you don't, if you're lacking knowledge, an online rowing coach could be the way to go. Some people also aren't joiners. Some people don't want to go on Facebook. Some people don't want to go on indoor rowing and they'd rather just have a one-to-one -one interaction with people. That's, that's fine. They don't want to join a rowing club or a Facebook club. That's fine. Now, the other thing, if you are very experienced in your training, but you're hitting a plateau and you still want to try and improve and you don't understand how to improve, this is also, this is a good time to say, you know what, I'm going for that last British Indoor Rowing Championship. I'd like to make a bit of an impact. I'm going to put six months aside and I'm going to get someone to tell me how to do this properly. So, yeah, go for it. Now, the the next one I've got is, is about pursuing specific training goals. You know, remember these guys? They went for the 100,000 metre row. If you're going for a marathon row, okay, or a half marathon row there aren't necessarily a lot of great training programs out there there is a marathon rowing training program um but also let's have a look here there's a real dearth of really well put together free training programs for a thousand meters downwards that you know, if you if you got if you're going for the world indoor rowing sprints, I for the life of me, I just can't find a good, free, survivable indoor rowing training plan for a thousand meters. Specific training goals, sprint training or very long distance training, you probably want to get a coach. If you have specific physical needs, now the obvious thing for me, obviously I'm a master's rower, I'm getting on a bit. Uh, the decline is already starting. Managing that decline is kind of, I could do, I could probably do with some help with that. And I will be talking a bit of, of like one of the, the kind of recommendations I'll make about this, which is Faster Masters Radio. And they are, they're good at dealing with masters and sort of managing the inevitable physical decline that you go through. So also, if you're a para-athlete, now I don't mean to put master's athletes and para-athletes in the same category. Para-athletes obviously have much greater, much more specific needs. But, you know, that's, it, there is this idea that you can't, you cannot necessarily, if you are an arms and body only row, you cannot necessarily transfer the training protocols of an able-bodied rower with full use of their legs into para-athlete, that you're going to need guidance and coaching from an experienced para-coach. So those are the good reasons. You know, specific physical needs, you need more knowledge than you've got, you've hit a plateau, you, you're not a joiner, or there's something getting in the way of joining a rowing club or joining an online Facebook indoor rowing club. I, I, I'm not a joiner myself. I, I'm, I'm not naturally the most sociable person and I, I would recommend taking that step, but if it's not for you and you still wanna go faster, paying for an online coach might be the thing. Now, there are some kind of mediocre reasons why you might do this. First one is 
you're not particularly motivated and you need to give do something give yourself a kick up the backside and move yourself on and say you know okay it's like right if i pay for it i get the sit sessions and i'm going to have like a meeting with the coach in two weeks time i, I, I better do the sessions you know it's like i'm, I'm going to pay for it and to a certain extent that kind of ex extrinsic motivation apparently has some level it's not great this is my understanding another mediocre reason if you're if you're a really time crunched individual if you only got a few slots like three or four half hour slots every week where you got to run into the gym jump on the rowing machine and just get as many gains as possible in the shortest amount of time you're probably going to need like a specialized coach or a, a or specialized advice for that and that's going to come with the cost it might be that you need to reprioritize in your life as well don't want to judge but you know if you can only afford that little time for physical activity in your life uh, you and me have different priorities let's leave it at that now mediocre reason um this is a perfectly good reason for your own selfish interests but it's not an ethical reason so if you are in charge of coaching or you want to be in charge of coaching and you want to in turn be coached so you can coach better you can essentially pay for someone else's expertise so you can learn from gather that expertise to yourself and utilize that expertise for other people a bit underhand it's a risk for anyone whose business is selling expertise selling information and time such as training programs this is it's a mediocre reason because it's unethical from the from the point of view of the person who wants to become a better coach for their club or for the people around them it's entirely reasonable just do it um you should go on a training course right bad reasons so if these are your reasons you probably shouldn't do this the glamour okay of expert paid for advice or an expert who has a glamorous history and we'll look at some of these guys who have we got here here we go cam bucken of the yam squad how glamorous does he look this seems like I'm slating Cam. I'm not. I think he's. I, I think he's got a fairly good offering uh, for online coaching. Uh, we've also got who is he? Jack Burns, Edge Rowing. He's offering very, very detailed on the water training programs for a significant cost. Uh, not the most expensive thing I've seen here, but you know he's he's making a living. He's an expert coach with and like. You see this guy and he's got a little tash and he's just sitting in his chair and he doesn't look particularly massive but oh my word some of the scores that he's posted in his life like uh 30 rate 20 at 138.4 or something absolutely ridiculous scores genuinely offensively fast um but just because somebody is good at a sport doesn't make them a great rower. So advice that you pay for is not necessarily better than advice that comes to you for free. It might be, it might not be. And someone who has done great things in a sport is not necessarily the best person to pass on some unique insight into that sport. They might be, they might not be. Those are not the best reasons for hiring someone. Those aren't good reasons. You got your good reasons, you got your mediocre reasons, one un unethical reason, and you've got your bad reasons. If you're in the bad reason territory, um, let's go on Facebook. Let's just drop me a line. I'll send you a, I'll send you a training program. So one of those things. There is a lot of free help out there. You don't have to pay people. Now, the types of pay for training that you can get. So here's the best example of the first type. This is your weekly programming. This is you pay money. In return, you'll receive a yeah the row elite novice plan. This is from Matt Tarrant, former GB rower. He's now the rowing coach of Saudi Arabia. He's doing the standard international rowing coaching thing. And here we go. 
plan consists of three sessions each week, which all follow a set phase. These phases flow from one to the other and will train you up to preparation for tests such as 500, 1000 and 2000 meters. Cover the basics of engine buildings and a chance to focus on improving your technique. As this is the novice plan, you will only have the lowest weekly mileage of the three plans, which could total 28 kilometers per week, which is, but I'm going to say this guy for 27 pounds a month. Um, is there, there's no particular kind of guidance. There's no testing to set your speed. This is just, you pay money, you receive a PDF. Well, okay. In this case, you actually receive this thing on ErgZone. So you receive it as part of an app, which is good. And like your training program is on your app three times a week. You're not getting much for, what are we talking, $27. It's all in dollars on ErgZone, but $27 a month. That's not, that's a lot of money for, you know, that's $2 a session. Let's just come back here, advanced training plan from British Rowing, $0 per session, three sessions a week. And instead of being four weeks, this is seven weeks. Again, there's this thing, go for value. This isn't, you're not really getting with these kind of like PDF training plans, you're not getting coaching. You're getting a training plan. There are free training plans out there. What you need is actual coaching. What you need is someone contact with a human being who's going to ask you about you and give you advice. So I would say all of these, Row Elite certainly, uh, Fitness Matters. Okay, Fitness Matters. They've got this FM rowing plan. Let's, let's have a click on it. Um, five weekly sessions for $30 a month. Um, now, here we go. This, this is the thing. Access to our exclusive Facebook community, accountability and motivation. Um, gain inspiration feedback from other coaches, including Sam Blythe, who's another absolute monster of an individual. He's one of those guys who rocked up, started being, he, he just rocked up when I was as fast as I was in like the late noughties. He was as fast as me, like the first time he tried it. And then he just progressively went faster and he ended up beating six minutes. Um, but the thing is, fundamentally, this is kind of an intro. This is an intro into getting in contact with a coach and paying for that coach's time. I'm going to say, as much as I like ErgZone, as much as I think it's a really good app, and I think it's a really clever idea that coaches can put these things on there and make money out of their training programs, I think that's brilliant. I don't think these training programs are great value. I think what you need to do is rather than do the training program, you need to jump straight through all the hoops, go, come, go straight to the guys who are providing them and get some coaching. Now, there are lots of ways you can do this, but that's what you've got here are dead training programs. We can go one step beyond that. So we can go to this company called Rojabo, bunch of Danish guys. Here we go. And Rojabo runs around an algorithm. It's actually a really clever bit of computer science. You're going to do, there you go, your background level, your season goal. It's all this. Yeah, you do your power efficiency test and your endurance test. They start out by testing you. You feed the results of that test in there. And here we go, rowing, I think. Yeah, so here we go. You've got the power efficiency test. It's one of the best little tests that I've ever seen for introducing a training program. You do this, you get 20, 20, 22, 24, 26, and 28 strokes per minute. You do each one once. You plug those information, that information into this. You say, I want to train for a 1K or for a 2K or for 5K, whatever it is. And then it spits out a training program for anything. I think it's, if I have a look at the pricing. This is actually a really good 
program. It's really good value. $15 per month for something that's come. This is still, it's still a dead training program. Nobody's giving you any advice how to do it, but you're doing a test that's giving you the speed levels and the stroke rate that you should be at. So you get a 14 day free trial, which is better than any of the things up on here. You get the 14 day free trial. You can get anything up to 14 workouts a week. You can train twice a day. You have unlimited tests, so you can constantly update your fitness. Unlimited event goals. So like, oh, I've done this for two months and I've done my 1K, I'm now gonna do a 5k in three months time you get your fitness progress charts you get weekly intensities for the next three months okay and you get a two-week free trial okay? us dollars 15 dollars a month that is better value than anything that's on erg zone albeit here's a surprise i don't think can i can i go here i go erg zone Rizabo integration with Zone, and it will give you all your training on Zone. This is a really, really good piece of kit. I'm, I'm going to say out of all these things, it's better than any of these. If you just want a dead training program that gives you a very clear pace guide, a very clear stroke rate guide, a very clear way of changing your intensities as your fitness improves and it tests you on a regular basis go with rojabo those Danes, they're, they're they're smart they're clever i rate them right so that's rojabo that is that's your dead training programs that's the, your training programs that you're paying money for and you're not you're not actually getting any coaching from a human being the next step is to get coaching so you get online with someone and you get someone telling you what to do as well as giving you a training program um, now here we go so this is a little training program so normally i would say don't get don't pay money for a four week training program but this one this kind of ticks a lot of really good boxes for me this is the Faster Masters rowing training program for your 1K August September peak. This is, um, I think, the American Masters Championship. This is this is going on a post Henley pot hunt down of the Little Regattas, the St Neots, the Sudburys, um, the Oxfords, all those great little regattas from Telford down to Stratford upon Avon, where you have to go fast for a short period. This is a 1K training program. So it's a very specific goal that you can't find a training program for anywhere else. See, masters, masters ra, specific physical needs. This is, it's an on the water training program, but it really ticks a lot of good reasons for spending money on a specific training program to get you from, let's say your 2K fitness, where you, it's all about the aerobics, and then you realized it's like July 8th or something and the hangover from Henley has worn off and you've got to go and race somewhere else. You, 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 you haven't won Henley like everybody doesn't win Henley. Nobody wins Henley apart from like one out of 32 crews. You're not going to win Henley. You're going to get knocked out on the Friday by a bunch of Americans, it's going to be really depressing, and then you're going to make up for it by spending the rest of the summer schlepping around the country and racing at little regattas. And you want to go from like 2K speed to 1K speed. This takes you there quite quickly. So it gives you one week of training, and I'm not going to show you too much because Rebecca and Marlene shared this with me, and I don't want to do this, but this is specific preparation with a take a week. Okay, so it's very specific. It gives you seven sessions or seven days of training, and then it gives you seven days of tapering. So the idea is it's a four week training plan. You do the seven days of training three times, and then you do the four weeks, the week of tapering once. And it actually, it's really, it's really good. So hang on, I'm going to show you this one day. 
which is very specific, it's race practice. Normally I say all the sessions on a training program should be done in minutes, not meters. But as the, when you're getting closer and closer to the race and you actually need to practice your your race form. This, is, this isn't a training program, this is a race practice program. So session one, you're, you hammer out from a standing start, you know, so we start, you do your four times 15 stroke start sequences. Um, you can do one times 500 meters. You're practicing the first 500 meters of your race session. Um, the second part, you're going to do two by 750. You're going to practice the middle 500 meters of the race. And then finally, one times 250. You're going like, to be knackered and you're going to practice gunning your final sprint. Um, okay, so your category to pace, they got they got like a little bit up here, and they'll they'll tell you what what your category pace is, your category one and category two. Um, sorry, I'm I'm skipping around. I don't want to share too much of this because this isn't my training program. But this is a good training program. It tells you how to train for a thousand meters, which I found really difficult to get my training right for a thousand meters. I love racing over a thousand meters on the water on the ergo. But this is like, this is really helpful. There you go. There's another reason to choose just a really short, you're gonna pay, I think it was like $28. Now, the thing is what I, I said, I gave a little bit of feedback on this to uh, Rebecca and I said, you've got this like four week training program and then you can spend $100 for a 12 week training program. And that 12 week training program, or no, it's like, no, it's $120, I think it is, for a 12 week training program that included a one hour consultation with either Rebecca or Marlene. And I said, what I'd really like is to be able to just buy that con consultation by itself. Because again, the key thing is you wanna be coached. You don't just want to have a training plan, you wanna be actually coached, you wanna have the guy who wrote the training plan or the ladies who wrote the training plan tell you what you should be doing because you're looking at this and it's like, oh, I'm not sure. Resting pace, right? Your base, race pace, like middle fight. It's like they explain it. I, you know, obviously we, you know, I don't think that needs a lot of explaining, but there might be things you find confusing. So this is the next aspect that you can get to when you're talking about training program. This is when you're buying time and expertise. So we have another look at someone else because all these guys up here, coming back to here, this, this is like the mother load of all these companies, Engine by Carson, Row Elite, Fitness Matters, Garage Athlete, Alicia Clark, all these people, they'll sell you a training program for $20 or $30 or $27 or whatever it is, but what they want is to become your coach. And that will be more expensive. You'll get the training program, but you'll also get some kind of one-on-one -on -one consultation. And that, so if we have here, there's Tony Larkman, there we go. So Tony Larkman, absolute, uh, again, another monster of a man. There he is, sweating everywhere. Uh, you know, one, one of these massively naturally talented, gifted individuals. You know, medals at the Henley Royal Regatta, British and World Rowing Indoors, coaching rowers since 2005. Really nice guy. We've had him on the podcast. Really appreciate his insight into coaching, into training. Has a lot of knowledge. And here you go. He's saying £65 per month for his training program, but you're also going to get a degree of interaction with... Tony himself, he is a personal trainer, he's a qualified personal trainer. So you get consultation, fitness testing, training programs, standard thing, okay? This is more expensive, you know, it's like personal training session, one-to-one -one in the studio, one-to-one -one in your home session. I think that's kind of limited to London. This is actually, this is where we're starting to really ramp up the value. And I'm kind of giving these examples but let's talk about Cam Buchan. So Cam, we're talking, we're taking the next step here. Okay, Cam is a very successful YouTuber, a 
a pretty successful rower. He's rowed for Leander. I think he rode for Stanford. And he's got this premium Yam squad. The Yam squad. Yeah, I'm not going to explain that. Training program. It's 195 pounds a month. Okay, this is this is properly. I mean, that's a that's a lot of money. You could you could that's a lease on a car, small car, but you know it's a lease on a car. You get a completely individualized program written by Cam Button, and he's a qualified coach. He's got a huge amount of experience in rowing, immense physical specimen. I mean, genuinely like 5.48 2K. 9,000 meter, 30 rate 20, 9,000 plus meters. Now, here we go. Completely individualized program. I can get that from Rojabo. Okay, get an individualized program. That's fine. But what I can't get is initial personal video chat to discuss your needs and goals as an athlete. Really important. I get that from Tony. Okay, he'd have that chat with me. Wouldn't be as fundamentally yam as Cameron though. Now, this is where it starts to, where we're going from like the 65 pounds a month to the 195 pounds a month. This is how we're moving up. Initial personal video tap to discuss your needs and goals. Unlimited contact with Cam Buckland via his personal number to discuss any success or issues. That's, that's kind of where you're getting, like that's where the extra 130 pounds a month is coming in. Unlimited contact time unlimited adjustments to the program as needed so you're getting faster or it's too hard or something gets changed no problem cam changes it for you technique analysis so he's going to get this is really important he's going to get on the internet you're going to put your phone or you're going to put a webcam he's going to watch you train and he's going to say ah oh, you need to rock over a bit more you need to get the legs down a bit harder you need to open the body a bit later what you know, standard rowing coach thing. That's pretty amazing. Man, he's, he's going to do all these things. And then personal and specific race plans for test events, trials, and races. Personal race reviews and reflections. Race day nutrition advice. Okay. Which the nature and methods for the program and minimum three months subscription is required. Now, that's kind of expensive, but it's very personalized. It's got a lot of detail. And it could really make the difference to an athlete. Excuse me. Um, so this is, we're reaching, we've gone from the dead program to the dead program that is tailored to you based on your needs. And we've gone from there now to the increasingly personalized training program. Um, now, what this is missing is we can see Cam wearing in this, that, that, oh, let's, there we go. Look, he's got he's got his heart rate monitor on and his little tummy there. Uh, you know, nobody looks good sitting down on a rowing machine. It, it's just impossible. The next step on from this like personalized indoor rowing coaching is sports science. OK, and so here we go. This is my local university. Canterbury Christchurch University, and they've got a sports science department, and they do all manner of testing. They do it partly as based on their research, but also in a big way, they test people who want to know more about their own physiology. So this is the big one, obviously the VO2 max test, which is going to give you obviously your VO2 max, your your absolute op maximum oxygen utilization but it's also going to give you the slightly lower level of your lactate threshold the difference between high intensity and low intensity and there that's medium intensity and so it tells you where those three training zones are and that is really really important for endurance training to know that you're in your right zone um, I'm actually terrible about it and I'm always trying to push up to like the next zone in a five zone system, it's really important to know where you are, to know, right, I need to stay within this heart rate zone. This is what tells you. You can actually get a huge amount of information from a VO2 max test. It's not just about that maximal oxygen uptake. You get your ventilatory, ventilatory thresholds, both your lactate term points, um, your max, and also literally what is low intensity training 
and that will be defined very very clearly by a sports science test now we've got a sports science price list this is like 2018 i don't think it's changed but anyway let's have a look control here we go so um vo2 max 150 quid cheap at the price frankly vo2 max and lactate threshold all at once uh, while you were there, you might want to do uh, the vertical jump test to analyze in your legs whether or not you've got lots of fast twitch, lots of slow twitch muscles. And particularly, and you might want to go and do your hematology, a little bit sketchy, a little bit cycling-esque, knowing how many red blood cells you've got, but potentially of value because that tells you more and more about what kind of what are the factors about you that make you fast and so you can go through all this and you can adjust your training plan according to these so you can yeah your training plan may need adjustment and you can adjust it according to these physiological parameters probably about as far as anyone listening to this podcast is ever likely to go but you can go to the next level and that is essentially a full-on personal rowing coach who's you're essentially going to take get to take you to national level and this isn't just indoor rowing training anymore this is this is water training so Jack Burns edge rowing one-to-one coaching service we'll have a look at what he offers here so he's got the unlimited the premium and the classic so he's got these various kind of like priority communication first priority communication unlimited program adjustment via call per week audio call per week seven day a week message support one times live online one-to-one technical coaching sessions per four weeks so it's like you know actually going out with a video on the boat blathering away in your earpiece three times technical review per week personalized rowing training programs you kind of expect that unlimited physio appointments with our rowing specialist okay unlimited physio appointments that's that's pretty Mm, that's pretty impressive frankly personalized strength and conditioning program so that's ergos weights everything like that elite minds everything here okay now pricing check you know he, he's he's fairly sensible about this and he says go and check all our you know athlete success stories here uh tenth to second in three weeks there you go um because the prices are frankly eye-watering 565 quid is the cheapest per four weeks minimum 16 week commitment you're talking your basic package is uh does maths in head 2250 pounds something like that and that's that's for a season essentially you get the unlimited package with the constant physio support and that is three thousand pounds a month essentially and you have to have it for four months so we're talking about twelve thousand pounds this is for people who are trying to do this for a living and it's it's kind of it's not the most expensive i can come back to aram training here here we go his unlimited his equivalent the unlimited package is anything up to twelve thousand dollars a month for a four minute four months minimum duration where is he there we go there's there's aram of aram training he he's got a great youtube channel he knows his stuff he knows about technique he knows about physiology he knows about everything he's he's an international standard rowing coach if you but $48,000 there we go no it's 48,000 euros for four months only if you're trying to win the Olympics not even if you're trying to get to the Olympics only if you're trying to just like get a medal at the Olympics are you going to spend that kind of money absolutely nutty cash I mean again he he's talking about like unlimited contact time and 7365 phone video chat message technical analysis all of this you know it's five times a week training plan adaptation it's the full it's the full deal this is as 
hardcore as it gets and you're going to get all the physiology and everything that goes with it it's really really intense stuff you guys aren't going to do that i think well i don't know sorry seb if you're listening you might be but this this is this is very much out of any real likely training so let's just come back into the real world for a second back into kent Okay, and let's think about how much you should pay. Now, like I've said, if you're just going for a dead training program, just for a rolling training program, Rojabo sets the standard at uh, a personalized training program based on, I think, pretty good testing for about 15, it's $15 a month. So it's really cheap. A Sensei is very similar for their paid package, and you do actually get one-to-one um, interaction and coaching with some of their coaches. There are the Live to Row guys who do the coaching, but they also do online classes. So they'll take you through each individual row with a whole community and the you know dark horse rowing. These guys, all of them come in in you know Row Jarbo is cheap, and then it kind of works up, and it's like that kind of 60 pounds 60 dollars a month for just kind of training is probably about as far as i'd go once you start getting into the one-to-one aspect it is not unreasonable i think the market rate is about 60 pounds for an hour of somebody's time. And if you think they're gonna to have to do preparation before that, you're actually probably paying for about two hours of their time. So that kind of idea, it's not unreasonable, 60 pounds for an hour online consultation. That's kind of roundabout where you should go. The physiological testing, I say a VO2 max for 150 quid is probably fairly cheap at the price. Um, if you're going to do a VO2 max test, I'd expect to pay probably 200, 250 quid. I think there are certain places around the country where it's going to be a lot more expensive. Namely, you don't have a local university with a sports science department. If you're then going to get a VO2 max test and you're going to get like a muscle fiber assessment where you'll basically jump up and down a force plate, 10 times you and then have a training plan designed around that you're going to pay a lot for that training plan uh the the going rate would be probably about 130 pounds for a 12-week training program based on a physiological assessment which you're going to pay um 250 pounds for uh it's not cheap but you know you're paying 40 pounds a month for training program and you've got some very, very clear physiological information to work with. Again, that, that that's probably that's probably your your most in kind of like in depth, intense thing that anybody I think who's listening to this program should probably really go for. Right, then we've got the final thing. What you should look for in terms of your initial consultation with anyone who's going to be training you so a pdf of three sessions a week with some very very vague pacing it's probably not worth it if you're meeting up with a coach the first and most important thing is you're looking for a coach who's worked with someone like you before now broken oars set up by two guys of a certain age getting on a bit the faster masters radio that works for me that's that's like a good idea for me. That really, oh yes, masters athlete managing the decline. Really good idea. If you're a beginner, you want a coach who's worked with beginners, not with national squad members. If you're that elite athlete who wants to win the British Indoor Rowing Championships, you're probably looking for a physiologist you're probably looking for someone who can give you the full work up and then turn that into a training program. But for all of these people, if you're just a recreational athlete, 
maybe you're just talking to the coach at your local rowing centre. But for all of these people, the first thing that you should have as part of the conversation is what's called a PARQ, a physical activity readiness questionnaire. You should be, the coach should make sure that you are actually fit and healthy enough to do exercise. Because it's not exactly a legal requirement, but it's a requirement for their insurance. So if they're not doing it, they're not thinking enough about how to safely do their job. They're not thinking enough about their insurance liabilities. They might not be the person to have a conversation with. The next part of the conversation should be about you, not about them, not about what you're going to do. It should be about who you are, so your vital statistics. How much you weigh? How tall are you? How? What's your history in sport? What do you want to achieve? What you're capable of now and what resources do you have at your disposal, equipment, time, whatever it is, to make that journey. The conversation's got to be about you. The next thing is like at some point they're going to have to see you on a rowing machine. They're going to have to see you actually pulling on a handle so they can tell that that is not something that's limiting you. If you're getting on the water coaching, somehow they're going to have to see you rowing in the boat and work that one out. And I think that's quite involved and there's like, you know, video analysis and all these things. And then the next step, you probably want someone who's going to ask you about whether or not you want to use a heart rate monitor because they are very useful for making sure that when you're doing long, slow distance rowing, you're operating in the right zone and you're getting benefit, but you're not getting the wrong kind of benefit. Once they've been through all those things, you should be aware that this goes above board. This girl's above board. They know what they're talking about. They're doing things safely. Now, the last and most important thing is at any point in this entire process, you should always feel that you're in a position to walk away. You're paying for this. If you want to stop paying for it, that's fine. At any point in the entire relationship that you have with the coach that you kind of feel, I can't possibly say no to this person and I can't possibly like not do that. I can't possibly stop paying him money. You need to stop paying the money and you need to ghost them. They are, this person is, you're having a relationship with them, but you've got to remember they are working for you. And you should be able to politely at any point say, this isn't working for me. I might come back to it, but I want to try another option. And that should be it. I'm going to advise against a lot of people out there offer 12 month packages for the price of nine months or six month packages for the price of five months. Don't go for those. Spend at least two months on a month by month arrangement with any coach before you kind of go, mm, yes, I'm going to commit to this in the long term. You want to be comfortable with this. You're paying money, you're the customer. You should feel free to walk away at any point. Um, we've done various programs on the podcast about what happens when the coaching relationship goes slightly wrong, or in some cases, very, very deeply wrong. And you always need to remember, if you're paying for one-to-one -one coaching, you're in charge. They have the knowledge, but you hold the gold. And that's my last piece of advice. So, guys, I hope this was useful. I'm going to include some of the links. I'm going to include the links to the Yam Squad, to Tony's, to Rojabo, to Ergzone, to all these people, to Sub7. If you want any more information on any of these things, drop me a line either on YouTube or on the podcast or on Twitter. And I can send you out various things and I won't charge for them. Uh, we do have a buy me a coffee thing. So if you have particularly enjoyed this content and it's been particular use to you, click the link and buy me a coffee and that'll be down below. 
okay thank you very much for listening i hope this was useful to you